My darling boy, it makes me very proud to think that you understand, Prince Charles is touching tribute to Harry as his son tells him he picks his brains more now than ever in today program interview. Prince Charles today called Prince Harry his darling boy after his son told him he picks his brains more now than ever during a radio interview. The 33-year-old was guest editing Radio 4's Today program and affectionately called his father Pa and thanked him for allowing him to interview him for the show. And during the four-minute chat, the Prince of Wales said it was amazing that he had been listening to him regarding climate change. The pair started talking about the planet and the 69-year-old joked that people are finally waking up to his dotty opinions about the environment. When asked by his son to pick one issue to focus on, Charles said over the years there have been a whole lot of things he has tried to focus on that he thought needed attention. He said, not everyone else did, but maybe now some years later they are beginning to realize that what I was trying to say may not have been as dotty as they thought. The issue really which has to go on being focused on, big time I think, is this one around the whole issue of climate change, which is now, whether we like it or not is the biggest threat multiplier we face because what is happening now is what I was dreading. Which is we are having to deal all the time with the symptoms that are springing up all around the world, and they are diverting us off down all these different channels to try and deal with ghastly conflicts and humanitarian and natural disasters, and goodness knows what else. But at the root of it all, much of it, is climate change which is causing untold horrors in different parts of the world. When he started the interview. Prince Harry referred to his father as Pa and said it was very nice to see him. He later asked him, moving on, I know the two of us could end up talking about this for hours and hours and hours of which we always do but not with a microphone in front of us. But do you feel optimistic about the future, for the world that William, myself, your grandchildren and everyone else out there is going to inherit? His father replied, well my dear boy if I must say so. The fact you're saying this, gives me enormous optimism. I haven't obviously put you off when banging on all these years. Because if you think that, that is really encouraging. What I've tried to do all these years is to make sure that I can ensure that you and that your children, my grandchildren, also everyone else's grandchildren, have a world fit to live in. Harry later told him, I totally see it and I totally understand it because of all these years of conversations that we've been having and I do end up picking your brains more now than I ever have done. His father added, well darling boy it makes me very proud to think that you understand. Harry then joked, and that I'm listening? Well that's even more amazing, his father said. It's the family she never had. Prince Harry tells Radio 4 listeners that Meghan Markle had a fantastic Christmas at Sandringham and the royals loved having her there. Prince Harry today told Radio 4 listeners that his fiancée Meghan Markle had a fantastic Christmas with the royals and said they are the family she never had. The 33-year-old was guest editing the Today program and his interview with Barack Obama, the first since he left the Oval Office, was played live on air. He grilled the former president who urged world leaders to use social media appropriately and warned it is distorting the public's understanding of complex issues. But the tables turned when the fifth in line to the throne was quizzed by presenter Sarah Montagu at the end of the three-hour show. She asked the prince about his engagement and Christmas with Miss Markle and he replied, it was fantastic, she really enjoyed it. He added that his family loved having the 36-year-old suits actress with them in Sandringham, Norfolk and said the royals are the family she has never had. Miss Markle's mother Doria Ragland, 61, and father Thomas Markle S.R., 73, divorced in 1987 and Mr. Markle S.R. has still not met his daughter's fiancé. But her half-sister has revealed her elusive father will want to walk her down the aisle next year and her nephew will reportedly gate-crash the ceremony if he isn't invited. And on Christmas Day, the engaged couple joined the Queen at Sandringham and were photographed walking with other royal family members to church. Harry also revealed he had stayed with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who live in Anmer Hall in Norfolk, while visiting the Queen at her nearby Sandringham estate. Speaking about his fiancée, he said, the family loved having her there. There's always that family part of Christmas, where, there's always that work element there as well, and I think together we had an amazing time. 
We had great fun staying with my brother and sister-in-law and running round with the kids. Christmas was fantastic. The presenter asked the prince if there were any family traditions that had to be explained to Ms. Markle and he replied, Oh plenty, I think we've got one of the biggest families that I know of, and every family is complex as well. No look, she's done an absolutely amazing job. She's getting in there and it's the family I suppose that she's never had. During the show Harry interviewed his father the Prince of Wales, and discussed his long-held interest in the environment and protecting the world's natural resources. Harry sounded a positive note about the future, and as I said we're really looking forward to New Year and looking forward to 2018. Because, you know, I'm determined to make sure that myself and the young generation and everybody else this pendulum is going to swing in 2018 is going to be a fantastic year and we all need to play our part. During his interview with Obama for the program, the former U.S. president warned that the irresponsible use of social media is distorting the public's understanding of complex issues and leading to the spread of misinformation. Mr. Obama highlighted the importance of communicating offline and taking time away from social media, some have interpreted as a dig at current President Donald Trump. He said, the truth is that on the internet everything is simplified and when you meet people face to face it turns out they are complicated. One of the things we want to do I think is as we are working with young people to build up platforms for social change, make sure that they don't think that just sending out a hashtag in and of itself is bringing about change. It can be a powerful way to raise awareness but then you have to get on the ground and actually do something. Prince Harry then joked about whether Mr. Obama had been invited to his wedding next May. When asked if he was on the guest list, Harry said, I don't know about that, we haven't even put the invite or the guest list together, who knows if he's going to be invited or not, I wouldn't want to ruin that surprise. The couple, who announced their engagement in November, spent Christmas with Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at Anmer Hall on the Queen's Sandringham estate. They all enjoyed a low-key family Christmas together and later joined the rest of the royals for a church service and lunch on Christmas Day. Prince Harry was at the helm of the popular BBC radio show and was the guest editor from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. And he began the show by playing a grime track produced by Nottingham-based charity community recording studios, which he has close ties to. That's quite urban for Radio 4. Prince Harry gets his edition of the Today program off to a surprising start with a grime song at 6.10am. Prince Harry started his Radio 4 Today guest editing session by playing a grime song. The 33-year-old has taken the helm of the popular BBC radio show and will be the guest editor from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. And he began the show by playing a track produced by Nottingham-based charity community recording studios, which he has close ties to. The charity works with young people on preventing violence and a song called Step Out of Bed by the Ivy Crew was played live on air. The station's flagship news show also includes an interview by the prince of former U.S. President Barack Obama, who shares his memories of the day he left office and his hopes for his post-presidential life. The engagement comes after Harry stepped out with new fiancé Meghan Markle as the royals gathered in Sandringham for Christmas. The conversation with Obama features the former president talking about his plans to focus on cultivating the next generation of leadership through the Obama Foundation. Harry, who was recently at the inaugural summit of the Obama Foundation in Chicago, has forged a strong bond with the Obamas, through his work with servicemen and his trips to America. At this year's Invictus Games, Mr. Obama reportedly quizzed Harry on his romance with Meghan Markle as they watched the wheelchair basketball. The Palace said the full interview will be made available as a podcast. Today finished at 9 a.m. this morning. When Barack met Harry, Obama warns world leaders against using social media to sow division, but doesn't name Trump, and reveals his favorite royal is William. Former U.S. President Barack Obama warned against using social media in a divisive way during an interview with Prince Harry. Mr. Obama, 56, did not mention his successor in the White House by name, but many will see the comments as a thinly veiled rebuke aimed at Donald Trump. He was being questioned by Prince Harry, 33, as part of the Royals' guest editorship of BBC Radio 4's flagship Today program. During the interview, Mr. Obama said there was a danger of people becoming stuck in their biases due to social media use. The ex-president said, the question, 
I think, really has to do with, how do we harness this technology in a way that allows a multiplicity of voices, allows a diversity of views, but doesn't lead to a balkanization of our society, but rather continues to promote ways of finding common ground. And, I'm not sure government can legislate that, but what I do believe is that all of us in leadership have to find ways in which we can recreate a common space on the Internet. One of the dangers of the Internet is that people can have entirely different realities. They can be just cocooned in information that reinforces their current biases. President Trump has drawn widespread criticism for the way he uses Twitter to attack opponents and condemn what he brands fake news. During the same interview, Obama said he prefers Prince William over his brother while he was getting grilled by the prince. Prince Harry's interview with Obama was played just after 8.30am. At the end of the 40-minute chat, the fifth in line to the throne fired questions at the 56-year-old and asked him who he preferred, William or Harry. He joked, William, right now. Harry also asked him which popular U.S. television show he preferred out of legal drama suits the program which his fiancée Meghan Markle made her name, or The Good Wife. And to his delight he answered, Suits, obviously with Harry replying, Great, great, great answer. In his guest editing slot, Harry also focused on climate change, the military and mental health. During the lightning round of questions, the former president declined to say whether he wears boxers or briefs, but he was willing to say he prefers Aretha Franklin to Tina Turner. Aretha is the best, he said of the Queen of Soul, and favors retired basketball star Michael Jordan over current star LeBron James. He also said he prefers the Queen to the band Queen to which Harry said, another great answer. Obama also told the prince he felt serene on the day he left the White House despite feeling important work remained unfinished. He said it was hugely liberating to be able to set his own agenda in the morning and to have the time to talk with his wife, Michelle now that he is no longer president. Both men said the interview, recorded in Canada in September, was Obama's first since leaving the presidency in January. Obama, speaking about his eight years in the Oval Office, said, I miss the work itself because it was fascinating. He did not mention his successor, President Donald Trump, but did say people in government should be careful in their use of social media. Obama also revealed he is obsessed with helping to train the next generation of leaders and said the world is in many ways healthier and wealthier than it has ever been. At the end of the show, Harry would not say whether Obama will be invited to his May wedding to American actress Meghan Markle, saying the guest list hadn't been drawn up yet. Boxing champion Anthony Joshua makes a cheeky offer to be Harry's best man. World heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua has offered to be Prince Harry's best man, after appearing on radio at the royal's request. Joshua was interviewed on BBC Radio 4's Today program when Harry took over the Current Affairs show on Wednesday as guest editor. He appeared at the request of the prince, who boxed during his time in the army, and was interviewed in the Sports Roundup segment about his career. The champion boxer later tweeted a picture of himself and the prince with the caption, Back to work this morning. Congrats on everything this year and no pressure on the R4 guest edit. P.S. Need a best man? Harry will marry fiancé Meghan Markle on May 19 but it is widely believed he will choose his older brother the Duke of Cambridge to be his best man. William showed his affection for Harry by picking him as his best man when he married in 2011 dispensing with the tradition that male members of the royal family have one or more supporters. Harry has previously confessed he used boxing to get out his frustrations when he was